great day to watch a football game, and the clock runs out. That's the end of the ball game, and Nebraska has beaten the Army by a score of 28 to nothing. And now it's time for Coach's wrap-up with Jack Payne. Thank you, Dave. Here with the Coach's wrap-up program on KFAB. John Melton has come in from the spotting booth to be with us here, his second time with us. Uh, John, we win again, we come in, and uh, let's go back here and start out with the ball game. John, things did not uh, look exactly that thing that it settled out coming out of the Southern Cal game, emotional-wise, uh, keyed up-wise, we tangled with an opponent like this. Is this kind of common, one thing you coaches have to fight against, uh, bringing the ball club down to earth and That's settling right. down? That's right, Jack. <clears throat> they play just like they practiced this week. Uh, well, you know yourself, we looked real sluggish out there, didn't we, the first half? That's right. But right. the second half, I think, uh, when Coach Devaney visited with him a little bit at halftime, uh, he brought him back to earth in a hurry, and uh, we played a good second half. You want to discuss and elaborate on visit with him a little bit for us, Johnny, in well, terminology? I think he told him exactly what had to be done and who was going to do it or somebody else was going to do it, so uh, he has a way of getting to him. All right, let's uh, come down to the second half. We led 7 to nothing in there. Uh, talk first about Van Bronson coming off the bench to come out and quarterback. John, uh, where in the second half do you feel like that Van really felt like he could do it uh, oh, with this arm? Van, uh, Jack, you know, has a lot of confidence in himself. And uh, the play uh, that he threw that touchdown pass on, Tom Osborne called it from the press box. And uh, I was glad to see him score and run. But it, did it look to you like he hurt his elbow again down there at the when, end of the ball game? Well, when he took a blow, he took a blow on a play right before he threw the pass, and he went back there holding that elbow, going back to the huddle. Then he threw the pass, and mm -hmm. we were just wondering if maybe this couldn't have been a good thing for him psychologically. Yes, well, maybe it's not hurt so bad. Yes, Van, Van is a good quarterback, as you know, and uh, I'm just tickled to death that he's uh, throwing the ball real well, and both of them are nice to have both of them, it really is. Talking with John Melton here on our Coach's Wrap-Up Show on KFAB. John, let's talk about the, the good defense that took place in the second half. You took their, you put more pass rush on, you took their running game away from them. Yes, uh, Jack, you know, sir, in the first half, uh, the only way we can get a pass rush on them, we had to put a plug on them. And uh, it worked pretty well, but they picked that up the second half a little bit, so we went to another uh, set of uh, defensive signals. We, have, we call it an over defense, which we come with five men, and they did a real good job getting to the guy. Right. Uh, we noticed that uh, Willie playing the defensive right in position, uh, he would go in and sort of box. He'd go so far down and then turn, John, and in the first half, they were having luck coming inside of him a couple of times, but you quickly stopped that with yeah. the linebacker shooting yeah. in the second half. Uh, we, we had to close that down pretty good because you, there are big splits in those lines, the Army. That was worrying us a little bit, and Willie was uh, so outside... Uh, contain causes that it was opening a big hole there, but we had to close it with linebacker. How do you rate the Army pursuit compared to teams we've seen so far, John? Oh, uh, Army probably isn't as good as Southern Cal, mm -hmm. but I think they're certainly a heck of a lot, uh, you know, better than Wake Forest was. All right, you got uh, the number two unit came in and took over, and uh, Army drove the length well but two yards. The kids both their backs. This must mean a linebacker coach like you makes you beam a little oh, bit. Oh, huh? yes. I tell you, it's a great psychological lift for those young kids. You know, every kid that was in that uh, goal line stand there will be back next year, and uh, it helps all of them. Well, unofficially in rushing, rushing and passing, uh, Nebraska 451 yards, and uh, we have the Army with 146 yards, total yards, John. Most of that, of course, in the second half when the yes, tight turn. Uh, I, I'm real pleased. Uh, we, we must have thrown him for a loss for a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of times because I see they only have, what, 18 yards rushing? They got 18 yards rushing in the first half, and they got 18 total yeah. yards for the whole game, well, John. I tell you, I'm, I was pretty pleased with our defense all day. Uh, I don't think we made uh, very many mistakes. Uh, but, uh, you know, they put us in a hole a few times there, but our kids, they hang tough. This Army team is pretty good, don't they? Uh, I thought a few times there they were uh, just real close to spearing, but uh, I think was the Army get one 15-yard penalty yep. today? Not very many. Yeah, it's, it's tough to get a penalty uh, against them, and, and I thought that one, uh, that when Taggy was trying to throw that ball and they oh. call that a fumble, Coach Devaney, I think, visited with him <laughs> a little bit on that one. You, you love that word visit, huh? Yeah. All right, we're going to let you get on downstairs, John Melton. Very good job. Okay, Jack. Oh, look, yeah. let me ask you that. Why did Warren Powers go up the sideline? Well, he, he wanted to see if he could see from down on the sideline. 
Uh, you see, we have one phone, and we're not getting a chance to uh, uh, do a little changing. So right now, when he goes down on the field, I can see from everything up here. And if I tell Warren, uh, you know, like maybe the guy's playing too deep or something, Warren could do something about changes. But if both of us up in the booth, and Monty's busy, uh, you know, with the phone, we can't ever get it to him. Mm -hmm. Have a hard time getting someone. Yes, I sure do. Thank you, John. All right, pleasure to be here, buddy. John Melton.